What's going on guys? Welcome back to my channel. Now if you're new here, here's where you'll find car reviews, car buying tips, and insider information from a sales professional currently in the industry. Now I'd like to let you know, I've recently started at Ajax Hyundai. So now I'm part of the Drive Auto Group, which is awesome for two reasons. First off, I'm a little bit closer to Toronto. I'm just off the 401 on Westing Road. But most importantly, I now have access to the pre-owned inventory from nine different dealerships. That includes Honda, Nissan, Toyota, Mazda, Mercedes, Lexus, Infiniti, and others. I'm now able to get 650 used cars and I have them all in stock right now. So as your salesman, I've never been able to serve you better than at this moment. Now today, we're looking at the 2019 Santa Fe. All new design, and there's one major theme I want you to remember. In this video, keep in mind that this is the base model. It's got one optional upgrade called the safety package. I'm gonna go through exactly what that means, and instead of talking about it, I'm gonna show you. The standard seats come with a very unique denim-like material. Way better than any base cloth seat I've ever seen before. Of course, you get heated seats, heated steering wheel, Apple CarPlay and Android Auto with backup camera. You also get two USB ports in the front and now two USB ports for the rear passengers as well. LED daytime running lights. So the headlight projector is right in there with your turn signal and fog lights are at the bottom. A modern look with excellent road presence. A lot of people complain about this blind spot in SUVs. This is in the 2019 Ford Edge, and this is in the Santa Fe. There's a little window, and the mirror is mounted on the door, not the pillar. Where, where was it you graduated from again? Hmm? The University of Duh. So we're checking out the fold-down seats in the CRV now. And there's this handle here. It's kind of like a door handle. And now we're in the Santa Fe. And the fold-down rear seat actually has a sweet button. Just right there. Now earlier I mentioned this car was equipped with one optional upgrade called the safety package. Basically it includes a series of sensors around the car. And here's what they do. So here we are on the highway right now. I've got smart cruise control enabled and lane keep assist on. So right now it's following the car in front of us. It's also steering and it's seeing the lanes. So it's caught the lane right now. It's steering me back to the center. It's also caught the vehicles in front of me. Everyone's coming to a complete stop. Oh my God, this is so weird. It completely stopped right now. It's seeing the car in the graphics, showing me that the car is accelerating. It sees that he's accelerating and now the car is picking up speed again. And there we go. Stop and go traffic. Very easy. I'm totally comfortable. I can play with the radio, listen to some tunes. Now at this point, you're probably asking, all right, great. It works awesome on the highway. The lanes are there. Cars are all driving straight for the most part. What about in the city with people switching in and out of lanes once you get off the highway and you're gonna go closer to your house? What happens then? Let's get off the highway right now and we're gonna find out. So we're coming up to some construction here. Yeah, everyone's gonna slow down. Let's see what the car does. I can feel it slowing down more. We're coming up to a red light. This truck's gonna come to a stop now. Again, I haven't touched the gas or brake this entire time. That's it, it's stopping. It's stopping with plenty of distance in front of me. And it's telling me to press the pedal or the accelerate button on the cruise control to pick up speed again. So now the light's green, I just press up on the cruise control and we're off again. The car continues driving. And here we are at the light now. So one awesome feature the car has is auto hold. So basically I let go of the brake, the car doesn't move at all. It's gonna fully hold the brakes for me at the red light. It's also totally shut off the engine as well. 
All right, light's about to turn green. That's it. The engine just turned on and let go of the brakes, all within a few milliseconds. Now, the last thing I want to test is, what happens if I'm driving and there's a car that's parked and it's not the Smart Cruise where I've found the car beforehand, but I just have Smart Cruise control on and I'm driving directly towards the car that's completely parked. Now guys, disclaimer here, do not try this at home. So let's say I'm driving, we've set a speed of about 40 kilometers an hour. Let's say I'm asleep at the wheel right now. Oh my God, it's stopping. That's it. I could have fully been asleep at the wheel right now with let's say some kids in the back seat, pet in the trunk, and there could someone be sitting in that car right now too. The system fully just saved my life and that person's life. Now let's see what happens if I don't have any systems on. Smart cruise off and lane keep assist off. I'm gonna drive towards the vehicle. Now again, don't try this at home. It's supposed to first warn me, then start applying the brakes and then slam the brakes. Before it slams the brakes, I'm gonna turn away. So let's see what the car does if I go towards this vehicle. Oh my God. <laughs> it slammed the brakes. It was right over to slam the brakes. I steered anyways, just in case, but it did. It caught the car. It was slamming on the brakes and it would have come to a complete stop. Probably been very close. And even if it did hit, you know what? It'd be not that much damage. So think about it. Even if you do hit the car in front of you, this could save a life. It could minimize the amount of damage that's happened. So even if the system doesn't catch in time, it's still gonna be a beneficial feature because it will minimize the damage and increase the safety and chances of you surviving are much, much higher with a system like this in your car. On higher models, there's even smart child safety lock. It won't let your child exit if it senses a vehicle passing by. Dad, stop! All right, hey. Also available, just one model up from the base, is the Blue Link app. This gives you remote access to your car, where you can start the engine, set the climate control and idling time, turn on the heated steering wheel and heated seats, and your defroster. You also can lock and unlock the doors, flash the lights, honk the horn, and you can find your car using the mapping system. So this will locate exactly where your car is parked, you can then flash the lights and honk the horn, or you can even set the parking meter time. So if you want to be reminded to make sure you don't get a ticket, you can set that straight to the app. You can also check the health status of your car to make sure everything's in tip-top shape. So here's another way that Hyundai's listening and responding to their customers. Now I'm sure you've heard a lot of people complain that modern cars these days have a lot of plastics covering and it's not as easy to work on. Now it's true that they do put a lot of plastic coverings on the engine bays. It doesn't mean that the car is not easy to work on. Watch me change this air filter with no tools. I want you to count it, not in minutes, but in seconds. Check this out. There's my air filter out of the car. Clean it, check it, replace it. Just like that. So here's another common complaint with all modern SUVs. Most people who buy SUVs want to buy for the space. Now of course, fold down mirror seats is a big part of that. Now the issue is a lot of people find that when you fold down mirror seats in a lot of modern SUVs, it doesn't actually lay flat. It's always at a bit of an angle. And the reason for that is that it's only the top part of the seat that's on a hinge, not the bottom. Of course, Honey's address is with the new Santa Fe. So that bottom part of the seat is also connected to the hinge. So this is what I mean. If you look, the bottom part of the seat's actually going down as I'm moving down the folding down rear seats. So when you do lay it flat, 
it's virtually flat in there. So let's price out Santa Fe. Transport charge, storage surcharge, additional overcharge, finder's fee. Finder's fee was on the lot. Yeah, that's right. And uh, floor mats, keys. Keys? They're gonna start it. Your essential package starts at 29,000. That gives you heated seats, backup camera, heated steering wheel, Apple CarPlay, and Android Auto. Above that, you have the safety package. For an extra thousand bucks, bringing it to 30 grand, you get the smart cruise control and lane keep assist with auto emergency braking. Above that is the preferred package. It gives you blind spot detection in both your side mirrors, proximity key with push button start, and rear cross traffic alert. That one is 35,000. Above that is the preferred turbo. It's an all new trim level for 2019. If you just wanna get the turbo engine with the preferred features, you don't care for leather, you don't care for sunroof, but you need the tow capacity and you need the horsepower, the preferred turbo is gonna be the one that you wanna get. Above that is the luxury. So that's got the turbo engine, it's got leather with the panoramic sunroof. It also gives you a 360 degree camera. So that's the multi-view camera system on that. Now above that is the top of the line, the ultimate package, my favorite. So that's the turbo engine, the panoramic sunroof, leather seats, all the safety features. You also get a heads up display and the premium infinity stereo. So if you like all the bells and whistles, that's gonna be the package for you. All right guys, thanks for watching. Be sure to hit that like button, subscribe, and we'll see you next time. I'm feeling hungry. I'm gonna go get a shawarma.